no, definitely not something we want to see at all. Tim, like you mentioned, I'm here at the Spokane River and you can see the river behind me. What you see on the floor right here, though, is some trash right here. So you can see an old receipt sitting here on the ground. And if you move this way, some plastic caught up in the tree there. And that, of course, is all trash and plastic that can end up in the river as the water rises and you know animals and wind take that closer and closer to the water. So part of the problem here is there's more and more homeless camps popping up along the river banks here along the Spokane River. And we talked to the Spokane River keeper Jerry White who says he's seen toxic chemicals, paint cans, even a bunch of plastic. Poverty has an impact. We see these camps um, with no garbage service along the edge of the river. And when we have these flows come up like this in, into where people have been living, uh, garbage and other uh, housing items get washed right in the river and then they're, they're garbage, they're, they're pollution. So that pollution breaks down into microplastics, then the wildlife eats it. But fixing the problem is not easy. The Riverkeeper says they'll take services like SNAP out on boats to try and reach the camps along the river. But homeless camps aren't the only reason this trash is here. White says the Spokane River is an urban river right in the middle of our city. So general litter from the city eventually finds its way to the river as well. Now last year, volunteers were able to clean up 26,000 pounds of litter over the course of the year. Now this year, White says he He's looking for volunteers to come out on the weekends and help with that trash pickup. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News.